Hey guys, so I'm going to do a cookout slash bonfire um, DIY that you can bring to parties if you're going as a guest or just going to give someone a summertime birthday gift. So um, I will show you what one of the things I'm going to make to put in it and that's going to be like, it's not a citronella candle because I'm not using citronella, but it's going to be a bug repellent DIY candle type thing. <laughs> um, so for that you're going to need um, at least two lemons and two limes. Um, I'm doing four mason jars, so just old mason jars. Obviously, you don't have to have ones that need to be sealed, so you can use the old tops that have already been sealed in the past, because you're just gonna use it as a top, not to seal. Um, you're gonna use floating candles. I just got these at Walmart. They're like three bucks. Um, an essential oil, um, eucalyptus. And then I have um, fresh rosemary. I'm using warm water. And um, yeah, you're gonna need a knife and a cutting board to cut up the lemons and limes. So I'm gonna cut some of these up. Um, I actually have not tried this before, so I'm not sure how well they work, but all the reviews were pretty good. So that'll be kind of cool. And I'm using warm water versus cool because the, anything warm kind of, like if you use warm water on your face, it opens up your pores, for instance. Um, so I think I kind of want to use the ends too, because it's a little bigger. Um, anyway, so it opens up your pores. Um, so it really opens up and releases scents and things like that. Like if you're cold, it kind of shuts down. And same thing for your pores or anything. If you put cold water on things, it's going to make them kind of... Oh, I hear a little boy. <laughs> Why? Yeah. It's daddy, mama. So I got my essential oil. I'm sorry, it's not like the best quality one probably. I got mine from TJ Maxx. Um, but it is 100% pure. And then I got I got my rosemary plant from Walmart as well. And my lemons and limes actually from Walmart too. So I'm just gonna do a few of these with you guys here. Um, so I don't know, film up about that much, and then we're gonna do some sprigs of rosemary. I'm gonna like, keep this and probably put, put it in like a pot. Plant it. So let's see. I'm just gonna I'm gonna do a good sprig of rosemary because I want it to work. And I honestly personally don't use rosemary a lot when I cook. Daddy, I fly. I fly. It smells really good. I fly. A fly. You got a fly? Because if you're going to use smaller ones, I'll probably use two. A fly. A fly. I'm going to put a few drops so they can go to the end of the bottom, and then I'll put the warm water over the top. You want to leave enough room for the water, but then also for the candle. So, um, just to show you. Oh, it's getting very fragrant in here already. Thick there. I don't know if that gives you kind of an idea. But anyway, so I'm going to do a couple at the bottom. Or so I can go down to the bottom. This will probably end up being about 10. Or no. Put these. I'm just going to cover up the lemons and limes. I think that'll be. Maybe a little bit over them. Oh, it's very fragrant in here. Maybe a couple more drops. Ooh. Maybe a little more water. My candle is on the side. Maybe less lemon and limes and more candle. I mean more water. That should be good though. That's cute. Look how cute. That's too much water. 
Although, it's probably not too bad. I'm gonna go with it. All right, so I'll just show you what the top's on, and then I'm probably gonna fast forward doing the rest of them. There you go. Oh, it's cute and refreshing. I feel like these could be really cute for like a summer wedding or something like that. For the water. How pretty in uh, the green and yellow is really pretty. Good. All right, so I'm gonna do these last two real quick and then I'll show you how I'm gonna assemble my bucket that I have right here. Paper and I found this old box downstairs. I like to use old boxes for risers and stuff when I'm putting things together. I like to also wrap using baskets or tins or whatever. So I put these like there's the front. This um, gift is for someone for tomorrow. So I think this is going to get, um, if I need more um, thinking, thinking work, I would have gotten red and orange tissue paper, so it looks like bio, like a camp bio thing. But um, it's a little deeper than I wanted, but that's kind of what it looks like. But yeah, it's cute, easy to carry, um, yeah, and something kind of fun for summer parties. So there you go. That's my um, summer campfire DIY. If you're a guest, you could bring it. If someone's birthday or this is for a graduation present. Um, it's for my sister, so 
we already went to a graduation, things like that, but um, rather than money, I got it this way. You can always put a card with money in it or something like that um, as well. But there we go. That's my summer DIY. Have a great day.